Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Shortly we are going to witness a celestial divine play Chandragrahana or lunar eclipse As per Dharma Shastra lunar eclipse or solar eclipse whichever the eclipse may be it's a very rare window where we can amplify the merits of good deeds which we do in that particular period the atmosphere and the overall changes in the environment are so profound during the eclipse is that whatever you do multiplies in lakhs and crores of time times by just doing one single effort as per dharma shastra let us now look that what exactly we are supposed to do during the grahana as soon as the chandra grahana occurs the start time the first thing you have to do is take a bath which is with the clothes sachaila snanam whatever clothes you are wearing you take a bath head bath and while taking a bath you have to chant everyone has to chant this chandra grahana pida parihara mantra which i have given in a separate audio you may definitely go through it the scripts are also provided there so this everyone has to chant after coming outside wipe yourself dry clean and change quickly to dry clothes and then you should sit for mantra japa because those people who desire mantra siddhi which means attainment of special spiritual powers with mantra japa the grahana period can be utilized to amplify the mantra japas power phalan or we can say merit shastras clearly mention upamarde lakshagunam grahane chandra surya yoho punyam koti gunam madhye mukti kale tvanantakam as soon as grahana starts when you do any mantra japa one japa equals to 1 lakh times doing the japa whether it is solar or lunar eclipse this benefit multiplication benefit gets further amplified to 1 crore japa during the middle of the grahana in between which means we can continue the japa that time mukti kale when the grahana is ending at that time the japa or any good deeds you do that will multiply anantakam immeasurably therefore it's a great opportunity for you for praying to ishta devata or whatever mantropadesha you have had those people who have had gayatri mantropadesha they should chant gayatri mantra those people who don't have gayatri mantropadesha they may have any other mantropadesha they can chant that mantra it could be on rama krishna sita narayana shiva it could be anything for ladies they can chant vishnu sahasranama lalita sahasranama saundarya lahari various stotras because whatever stotras or sahasranamas you chant at this period gets multiplied by lakhs of times the benefits or merits therefore do not lose this opportunity so after the bath change to dry, dry clothes and do japa the next particular karma which has been prescribed by vedic rishis is to do danam on this day or offer donation to a vedic brahmin this donation is important because whatever you give it could be 1000 2000 or any amount multiplies which is becomes equivalent to 1 acre of land all the danas are equivalent to bhumi danam at this particular time because donating a land is highly meritorious as per our dharma shastra but many of you actually cannot do it because of various reasons so if you want to attain the phala of punya or punya of donating a land 
then you should offer money during the grahana period to a vedic brahmin and obtain the ashirvadas and this will definitely help but it's very difficult during the small window or large window of the grahana punya kala to call somebody and offer the donation so at this time whatever money you want to donate you can definitely make an online transfer to the person whom you desire and you will get the phala of the donation so do not lose this opportunity because a person is not there to accept the donation make use of online transfer and donate to your guru or any other person whom you feel in mind is worthy who can protect and run the sanatana dharma shastra in the proper way after the dana towards the end of the grahana if you don't have father you should do the tarpana because doing tarpana during this period satisfies the pitrus or your ancestors in various lokas for lakhs of years so the tarpana during the chandra grahana should be done at the later half while in surya grahana it should be done immediately after the first bath so towards the end of the grahana you should do the tarpana and then once you know that the grahana has ended then you should take the moksha stana or second bath which signifies the end of grahana and this second bath also should be with the clothes with which you have done the japa or danam or tarpana and once this is done the anushthana for grahana is finished post which you can cook fresh meals and then have food because dharma shastra says that the time from which the grahana is starting from that prahara or yama 9 hours before you should stop consuming food or cooking food because the environment is changing and the food will also change and that is the reason why no eating should be done at least 9 hours before the prahara or yama in which the grahana is occurring for those people who are sick who are elderly who are pregnant who are children and who cannot follow this fasting schedule or who are with various diseases for them 3 hours before the yama or prahara of the grahana the allowed time period 3 hours before you can have but after 3 3 hours before the grahana you should stop having any kind of food also it is our custom to during the grahana period to protect all the food items with two blades of darbha so which means darbha grass or kusha grass which is available plentifully that two two blades of those grass you need to put on all the food items which can include rice dal salt chili powder various vegetables etc etc anything which has been cooked for that day in the morning should not be consumed later for those items which can be kept and eaten later for example curd milk ghee pickles you can cover that with darbha grass and keep it for later use but the ones which have been cooked like rice dal sambar curries which is cooked on the morning of this grahana day should not be consumed later part after the grahana is over fresh food should be cooked so if you want to know which are the nakshatras which are affected during this grahana the janma nakshatras if you belong to those janma nakshatras and what you are supposed to do please look at the videos of veda hosham youtube channel where you will find a specific recording that in case 
द ग्रहणा इज अकरिंग इन योर जन्म नक्षत्र एंड असोसिएटेड जन्म नक्षत्र वॉट आर द परिहारा यू आर सपोज टू डू एंड हाउ टू गेट आउट ऑफ एनी इल इफेक्ट्स ऑफ दिस ग्रहणा स्प्रेड दिस मेसेज ऑफ चंद्र ग्रहण अनुष्ठान विधाना टू एज मेनी पीपल एज पॉसिबल इन ऑर्डर टू स्प्रेड सनातन धर्म नमो नमः